Welcome back, Duel Master fans. I am back to show off another Duel Master video. So today's video, as you see in front of you, I'm going to be showing you off my collection. So I'm actually going to start running through this because there's a lot to go through. So um, the way this video is going to run, I'm just going to kind of chat with you about collecting and kind of show off the cards as we go. So in, this is going to be a two-part series. This video, I'm going to be showing off to you some of my themed cards as well as rares and the uh, multi-sieve cards I have. I'll be showing off all of the foils in video number two. Um, I'll be excluding all the commons, uncommons I have only because those are some of the, um, not less desirable, but the not as hard to come by cards. So first off, I got some survivors also coming up in here. I have the Wave Strikers, and then after that should be Silent Skills. So we'll show off a couple of the cards in collection. So this video, um, there's a couple purposes this video. Um, one of them, and I think the biggest one, is that, uh, you know, I want to inspire ideas. If there's anything that you guys see that you're like, how, how are you using that in a deck? Or have you used this in a deck? You know, I want you to give me a shout out and feel free to, uh, in the comments, ask, you know, what did you use this card for? Or why is this card good? Or, you know, what are some strategies to go with certain cards? So this is kind of a lead in. In the future, I do plan on starting to do more deck profiles as well as, um, as well as um, doing games as well. So, you know, like Cosmic Darts is a very situational card that with the right deck profile, um, it, you, okay, basically, let me just read it real quick. Opponent, choose one of the shields, look at it, if it's a spell, cast it immediately for no cost. There's a deck that revolves these with the um, Invincible cards, like Invincible Cataclysm. So you're casting a 13 mana card for only one. So, you know, a lot of these cards, there are some that, you will see some incredible value in here. It takes, now just, just to make you feel better, I've been collecting this game since about 2011 actively. Started playing in 2009, um, stopped playing it a bit f until about 2011, then a, a college roommate played, so I kind of picked it up again. So one of my mentalities in regards to collecting is that as you see, there are some I have four of, some I have one of, and then there's other ones that there's a mix. One of my mentalities for collecting is that if it's a card I felt could be used in a deck, I always want to have four copies of it. Now, of course, some of them regarding pricing or just availability, I may not have four of, but then there's other cards that you'll only see one or two of. So... A lot of the times, if it's only a card I've worn two of, it's either I haven't been able to get a hold of more, or it's something that I don't really see as desirable for a deck idea. Um, I don't really collect for value a lot, so you'll see in the foil aspect of the video that I don't really have a ton of promotional cards. There's a lot of promotional cards that were released in Duel Masters, and I'm just I'm not huge on collecting those. I always, one of my mentalities for collection is to get cards that allow me to play my best duel. So a lot of these I look at, actually funny enough, I should probably get more Saucer Head. I don't mind that card. So it's always nice for me to look through them too because sometimes I think, you know, what's a card I have used more or I think could be more successful in a deck. So like Hydra Hurricane's one of my, um, that's an early deck I made, which I really liked. So, you know, and again, I do want you guys in the comments to comment, hey, what have you used this deck for, or, or what card for? And you can say, hey, is this, have you ever used this and how? So like Intense Evil is a very situational one. Um, I used that card once upon a time in a deck revolving around Simeon Warrior Grash. Where, you know, when you, with that a card's effect, if you destroy an armor Lloyd, your opponent um, will send a card from his mana to the grave. So you're sending his cards, you're sending his mana away, 
and you're getting cards for your uh, for drawing. So some of these cards you have to get a little creative with it. Cards like Cranium Kill. There's some cards that are just amazing. Cranium Clamp's a great example. Don't really have to look too far to know why that card's so good. Ice Vapor, have a couple of those. Bashuna's a pretty strong base attacker. So, you know, some... And now I've been, again, I've been collecting since 2011. So some cards I was able to get a lot early on. There are still some cards that do, um, do evade me still. That, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. So, as you see, some of these cards are really good condition. Other ones, eh, not the best condition, but especially for these cards, I never wanted to just keep them sleeved and never... Oh, I mean, there's nothing wrong keeping certain ones sleeved. Like, <laughs> like for example, the one Emerald promo. There's, there's some cards you want to keep sleeved. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, you're going to think I'm crazy when you go through the soul swaps and see I don't have those sleeved in here. But as you see from the tins, I do like to keep my cards well, what's not, not well contained, well protected. Um, as you see, this is what I do. I think with anyone who collects, a good idea is to find a safe way to collect them. You know, make sure they're not anywhere where they could get water damage. Make sure they're not in a basement where they can get mildew or mold. So I highly recommend to anyone who collects out there, try to make sure you don't put your cards in a situation where it can damage them. So, you know, I one of my biggest things, if you've ever bought from me on eBay, or if you've traded with me, you'll know I'm a stifler for condition. So I think it's really important you keep your cards in really good condition. So I try to do that with all of my cards. And, you know, I it also, it retains their value. You know, some of these cards, some of them have gone way up in value. Soul Swap is actually an amazing example. Um, years ago, it was only maybe like a $40, $50 card. Now, that's selling at 80 bucks online. So... Some of these cards do go up, especially with how uh, Duel Masters is a little more scarce than it used to be. Now again, for those collecting, and there it is, guys, four TCG Soul Swaps, which is still to this day, um, it's very exciting that I have those. There was a um, card shop a couple hours from where I'm from that I was very fortunate when I was younger. Now, younger, maybe 18, 19 that um, he actually had he had DM 10 and 11 booster packs and this is when Kai Duel Masters was not quite rare because it just folded but also it was still it was still and sorry two mana bonanzas it was still kind of common to find because it was a few years after it went but it didn't quite hit that um, rebirth where then the cards became incredibly desirable because of scarcity. So I was able to buy DM10 and DM11 packs for $4 each. Man, I miss those days. Because some DM10 packs, again, there's a booster box right now on eBay for 1000 bucks. You're The prices are just really high, and some people want astronomical prices for these sealed products and I'm lucky I got them beforehand but I do tell you this to those who are looking to buy dual master cards if you wait long enough the cards will surface they may not always be the best price but I've always been the type of person you wait for the right deal so don't feel that if it comes up you have to have to buy right on the spot um, but again, I, I recommend to all people who love car not even just Duel Masters, but cards in general, if it's something important to you and it's not a comfortable price for you, just wait it out. So many things pop up on eBay every day. It's a matter of time until your card comes for the right price that's comfortable for you. Now, in saying that, you know, you may wait a long time, but if you have a price point, then, you know, that's important. You have to balance dual masters. You have to balance card games in life. So, um, yeah. And like cards like this, it took me quite a while to get four copies of Hydrus. So, you know, it's really neat to look at now, years down the line, 
But I can tell you it took me a long time to get some of these cards. And I've even started switching to some going for Japanese promos because getting the, uh, getting the English card, very difficult sometimes. So that is going to wrap up the first part of this video. So that was the themed cards, rares, and multi-civ cards. So that's part one of the collection video. And we are going to run right into part two coming right up. See you soon.